Hello YouTube. How's everybody doing? So before we get into the video, apologies for the hair by the way. It's been absolutely chucking it down over here in England. Um we've had about four days of summer. <laughs> and yeah, it's yeah, not my best look. But I wanted to get a video out. Um just talking about a topic that, just as a disclaimer, we're going to be talking about a little bit of grief, a little bit of loss, so a bit of discretion is advised, not as in death, but just a feeling. Um, so yeah, before we go any further, just want to talk about that. So let's roll them titles, shall we? Hello guys. So I just want to talk about fostering. As many of you know, we fostered or got the call to foster for Dogs Trust earlier in the year. And then in April, we got a placement and they were gorgeous. Um, but last Monday, I can't remember what the date was, they went home. They went back to their owner. Obviously, for confidential reasons, I can't give names or anything like that. Um, but we had the best five months ever and thoroughly enjoyed ourselves. And they were the best. And it was so difficult to let them go and in fostering there are joy and pain on both sides it doesn't matter which side you know coming to us there's obviously joy because we're looking forward to having the dog and then on the owner's side there's obviously deep pain because they're having to let the dog go, you know, for however long while they're setting up another life. Um, I'll put in the comment in the description um, the people that we foster for because that's very well known. It's very do well documented. Um, but, oh, my God, when, when they went, I was in bits. <laughs> And it's because you form some form of bond with the dog. You're bound to. You're absolutely bound to. And, you know, within the five months, you know, you learn to love them. And, you know, you're playing with them. You're fussing them. I mean, they used to come and, you know, lie with me on the bed during nurse visits and catheter changes and all the rest of it and because they knew that they couldn't I couldn't fuss them very well they used to come and give me a lick at night and just show me some love and you know I'm getting a bit welling up now um but yeah it I mean, and then when you return them, there's obviously, you know, pain on our side because obviously you built that bond. But so much joy on the owner's side. So much joy. The only thing is, and I'm not saying that this is like a totally bad thing, you just don't get any feedback afterwards about how the dog's doing. 
Not in this situation anyway. So we've been constantly going, I hope they're okay. I hope they're okay. Like I hope they're getting cuddles and I hope they're getting this and I hope they're getting that. And it's it's so difficult but so joyful at the end of the day. And as I say, we've had the most brilliant five months with them. Will we do it again? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. We're on the list. We're ready to go. I mean, in the beginning, we were very much like, oh, no, we'll take a break. We'll go and visit things and, you know, live life again. Because, like, obviously, we were a bit tied up with the dog. Um, But we were like, do you know what? We just want to get into it again. Um, We're ready. We've got everything ready. The house just feels so empty. But we're ready to go. So the answer, well, are we going to do it again? Hell yes. We want our own dog eventually. But until we're a little bit more financially stable, then we can't really do that at the moment. So fostering it is. And it's nice to feel like you're helping you know, somebody who's in a real bad situation, make that decision, you know, to think that, you know, the dog's going to a nice home while they sort everything out. And, yeah, and without this charity, the dogs would just end up in kennels, and that's really sad. But it's nice because you have to think, well, They've had a nice holiday. They've stayed with us. They've had a lovely holiday. They're fine. They've gone to somebody that they love. They've not had to be rehomed. Because if they had to be rehomed, I'm telling you now, I would have found a way to have them. I would have found a way to have them, trust me. Um, but yeah, I miss them terribly. Wes misses them terribly. It's a very quiet house. I actually don't know how foster, like fosters do it with children because surely they build up a stronger bond. Um, but yeah, we've loved every minute of it. And I just wanted to thank everybody that has supported us, gave me words of wisdom and encouragement when last week I was just, broken um give words of encouragement to Wes and yeah just thank you and we're ready to roll again should the right dog turn up um but yeah um what can you say you know as they've gone to um back to their home, somebody that they love. I'm not saying that they didn't love us. <laughs> but yeah, do you know what? It's been the best five months. And we both said that we can't actually remember life before having a dog, even though we didn't have a dog for like two years before we moved, you know, um, before we moved in. So, after we moved in, sorry. But, anyway, guys, just wanted to thank you as well for subscribing. I'm up to 140 subscribers. Yay! So excited. Um, I know this video has been a bit uh, long overdue. I did do a live, but that didn't really pan out, did it? Let's be honest. Um... Me and Wes are going to Blackpool next May. So we'll be filming out there. Um, but yeah, guys, we're ready for another dog in our life. And put in the comments, have you got a dog? Uh, what's the name? I wish you could just drop me a picture, but that's not able on YouTube, is it? Um... I'm going to try and make some socials to go with the channel, see if we can get build in a little bit. Um, 
Um, but yeah, thanks a lot, guys. And if the headphones haven't worked out, then, you know, I will take them off for the next one. <laughs> All right, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Any girl also see you later. Because I look like a drowned rat. And we've literally had four days of summer over in England. I hear the rest of the world has been like boiling hot. But yeah. Anyway, guys, speak to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.